You're good. Okay. I'm with General Knight, Adjutant General for the Vermont National Guard. Um, to talk a little bit about uh, Vermont Guard and the history behind it. Sure. Um, starting off with a story you told over in New York last year about uh, Vermont Guard being down south for the Civil War. Yep. Um, would you mind relaying that story? Sure. So Vermont's had a, a hobby. We have a very long and distinguished history. Mm -hmm. uh, we've served in every major conflict, um, all the way back to the Revolutionary War, obviously with Ethan Allen and the Green Mountain Boys. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at my coin, my challenge coins, on the back of it I have put the Vermonters ahead. Mm -hmm. And that's the very beginning of a sentence that General John Sedgwick said uh, preceding the Battle of Gettysburg. So he's the commander of the 6th U.S. Corps. Right. And they were in hey, back, back. Manchester, You're Maryland, shot. 37 mm -hmm. miles from Gettysburg, when they got word that they needed You're to shot. get there. Bring your mm -hmm. back. And he said, and put the Vermonters ahead and keep the column well closed. Now, my speculation as to why he said that is because the Vermonters had a reputation for hard marching right. and not running from a fight. Um, mm -hmm. as evidenced by every campaign, uh, mm -hmm. wilderness, um, Cold Harbor, uh, or Cedar Creek. I mean, there's numerous battles throughout the Civil War where Vermont played a central role, and certainly right. at Gettysburg mm -hmm. with uh, 2nd Vermont Brigade uh, literally breaking the back of Pickett's Charge. So that's where the first put the Vermonters ahead comes from, um, hey. and we're honored to carry forward that legacy. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, recently, um, you guys have been seeing a fair amount of deployment state and federal. Um, I've been following some of that and um, lately just uh, got done sending off about a thousand troops. Yep, nearly a thousand of our uh, Army National Guard. Uh, we've had 85 of our, 85 or so of our Air, our Air National Guard um, deployed on what we call Reserve Component Period 5. All right. Um, so they will go kind of like an individual mobilization augmentee or small groups and they will go support um, Air Force and Air Guard units that are already within the respective theaters. Mm -hmm. um, on the Army National Guard side, this differs from our 2010 deployment, which right. was the entirety of the brigade mm -hmm. of deploying as a brigade. Uh, this deployment is different. We, we deployed um, as, as Battalion task forces or company teams, right? Uh, to three different combatant commands. So we've gone to European shooters. Africa, lock and load, one round, ten round command. magazine. Mm -hmm. So they are in there now doing the job. Troops and front. Another, another ten in range the near the bar. Weapons free. Exactly. And it's now and shooting one point, round it's, standing. It's very then transitioning busy, to prone, the unsupported. Now, incredibly busy. Fire when ready. And our state mission, which is support of our communities in our state, mm -hmm. answering the governor's call, uh, right. we've responded. Uh, to the pandemic, uh, mm -hmm. we've done uh, contact tracing, we've done test samples, test sample kit production, we've done vaccine administration, mm -hmm. uh, we built an alternate care facility in Essex. Uh, yeah. uh, it's just been a remarkable experience, very challenging, certainly. And then yeah. concurrently preparing and executing our federal mission, that's the Air and Army National Guard. Right. It's, been, it's been a long haul for us, um, it's, it's great. I'm proud of our state. Mm -hmm. Proud of all the folks engaged with the Department of Health and, and uh, Vermont Food Bank that really got us here. Um, we were there for Vermonters when they needed us, and, and that's really what our. Yeah. Um, a while back, I was talking to one of our uh, retired guys through the uh, and um, we were discussing about some of the things that came back from this war that we've been in and that the attention is kind of messed up. How is the uh, Vermont Guard handling that? So we've come along Reload, go to um, the prone supported. previous conflicts. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a, a much greater understanding and acceptance. That, and, and my, I can give you a night's perspective. Mm -hmm. And I said, and it includes me, nobody comes back to see right. um, We get asked to go do some hard things at times. Mm -hmm. And it's challenging. If you don't have that reputation, remove the stigma that, that comes with sometimes asking for help. Right. Well, that doesn't do us any good. So I'll tell my story to anybody. I came back, I was home on a very kinetic deployment. I've been home for six months. I wasn't who I thought I should be. Mm -hmm. And I had sense enough to go uh, to the vet center. Mm -hmm. And 
didn't have any impact on my career. Um, made me better, or at least better than I was. Right. Um, but I think that's really the message. But there's a number of other things that we've got underway now. Some innovations that are going to take us a long way for the pilot project. So I think it's called uh, magnetic e-resonance therapy. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not... Reload! Fight up! New and supported! areas of the brain right. uh, where PTSD, anxiety, uh, depression, and, and those adjustment disorders reside. Initial indicators, I mean, it's, it's very promising, so we're, we're happy to be a part of that um, as a pilot state. I think right now we're the only pilot state, and, and once our study is done, um, I think other states will be very interested in the results. Now, with that, is uh, even a medical um, part of it? Nope, I think, uh, I can't remember the name of the university, uh, but our, our providers who are part of this pilot have partnered with the Reform Services University. Quite sure that's the name of Uniform uni Uniform Services University of Health Sciences, I think, or something like okay. that. So they will kind of underwrite it uh, and support it in the process. And, and there's an insurance piece that goes because it's considered research. Right. So we have to work through that. Uh, but hopefully, Reload, the next year, fight up, we'll have standing those results supported. back and be able to share that with the rest of the Guard and, and the wider military. Mm -hmm. um, our job is, is to not put somebody in a, a medical retirement track. Our job do a hard job. We owe it to them to make them ready. True. And and so instead of saying, hey, thanks for your service, you medically retired, give them the tools and resources they need to stay in the service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that does it for you. Thank you, sir. Maybe thank you. And I hope to continue uh, having conversations. Yeah, are you local? I live over in Plattsburgh on the okay. former base. Oh, that's right. Okay, good. And I live in the former base house. Oh, gee, circle. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's a circle. Well, good. Well, yeah, reach out. Mm -hmm. Move me around. Oh, yeah. Go, go make the rounds and meet some soldiers. Oh, yeah, have fun. All right, take care, Jimmy. You